Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Hope all of you are fine and enjoying your best health with your families. And you are studying wholeheartedly nowadays and try to concentrate on these lessons. They are very important. Don't waste your time in other activities. Give much more time to your studies and helping your mothers also. Uh, uh, helping your parents in doing different works. So let's start over today's topic. It's week four, class C2, physics code is 5054. And the topic of today's physics lesson is total internal reflection. This is a very interesting topic. We will discuss it in detail after discussing its objectives. The objectives are, first we have to discuss the terms critical angle and total internal reflection and recall and use the formula sine c is equal to one over n. And our second objective for this lesson is you should be able to describe experiments to show total internal reflection. And third one, you must be able to describe the use of optical fibers. That is the application of total internal reflection in telecommunications and state the advantages of their use. Let's start it. First of all, we will start with the definition of total internal reflection. What is total internal reflection? When a ray of light travels from a denser medium to a rear medium, if the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, the ray return to the denser medium, this is known as total internal reflection. So you have to understand what is critical angle and you have to remember for total internal reflection, the light ray must travel from a denser medium to a rear medium, okay? So we will understand it in the best way from this diagram. Uh, if we take two mediums, first medium as air and second is water. Water is a denser medium as compared to air. So when a ray of light, for example, from a pond or ocean, the ray of light coming from water to air, um, then the angle of incidence is definitely in water as incidence ray is coming from water. So theta one will be angle of incidence and there will be refraction in the air and the angle formed with the normal and the refracted ray is angle of refraction. Angle of refraction is always greater than the angle of. As we increases the angle of incidence, come to the step two, if we increase the angle of incidence, then the angle of refraction will also increase. And a point will come when angle of refraction becomes 90 degree. And this angle is known as critical angle. The angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree, then that angle of incidence is called as critical angle. And the last step, if we increase the angle, then this value that is critical angle, then the angle of refraction will increases more so that the light ray uh, instead of remaining in the air, it will come to the water medium. So actually what happens reflection occurs instead of refraction now reflection occurs and the light will be totally internally reflected in the same medium this phenomena is known as total internal reflection so it has basically two uh, important points or uh, mark, marking scene points you have to keep it in your mind for solving the different questions related to it number one the first condition of um, um, total internal reflection or TIR is the light ray should enter from the light ray should travel from denser to rear medium. As we can see in this diagram, the light ray is traveling from water to air. And what is the next, next uh, condition? The angle of incidence in the denser medium should be greater than the critical angle. The angle of incidence in the denser medium. The angle of incidence is always in the denser medium and it should be greater than the critical angle then the total internal reflection occurs these are the two conditions you have to keep it in your mind next from this diagram all these rays if we join in a single diagram from here i have taken glass as a denser medium and air as a rear medium there is a normal at a point of incidence the first green light shows that when the angle of incidence is less in glass the, there will be an angle of refraction that is theta 2. When we increase the angle of incidence to much quantity so that the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree, then this angle of incidence theta is known as critical angle and this angle of refraction becomes 90 degree as we have discussed it earlier and when we increase the angle of incidence 
the angle of refraction also increases and the light instead of going into the air medium it will be reflected back into the same medium now why it is called as reflection because it will also obey the laws of reflection here see it the first law of reflection is the incident ray the normal and the reflected ray i'm talking about only the blue arrows all lie in the same plane this was the first law of reflection the second law is the angle of incidence this angle must be equal to angle of reflection this angle and both are equal so always remember in tir that is total internal reflection the light rays also obeys the laws of reflection now we will discuss the relation between n and c where what is n n is the refractive index and what is c c is the critical angle so the relation between n and c is we can see from this diagram that this angle of incidence is critical angle this angle of refraction a will be uh, for angle of incidence the angle of refraction will be 90 degree so the relation is n2 over n1 is equal to 1 over sin c how it becomes let's discuss the mathematical uh, relation with refractive index n is for total internal reflection we know and the snell's law will become n is equal to sin r over sin i the reason is snell's law is sin i over sin r when the ray of light is entering from rare to denser medium but when a ray of light is entering from denser to rare medium this snell's law will become also reverse it will become n is equal to sin r over sin i as this law is same but as it's applicable to the rare medium in this way so for uh, the other medium it will reverse so as refraction is from denser to rare medium n is equal to sin i r over sin i here we know that in for critical angle the, we are discussing the relationship of refractive index with uh, uh, critical angle so for critical angle the angle of incidence is actually equal to critical angle for which the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree so here we will put the value of r equal to 90 and value of i equal to c when we solve it we will get sin 90 value equal to 1 and at angle i is equal to sin c so we will get this equation n is equal to 1 over sin c okay so we will continue our topic of total internal reflection as we can see from glass to air when a ray enters there will be a refraction when we increase the angle of incidence our critical angle will be there for which angle of uh, critical angle is the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree and if we increase the angle of incidence total internal refraction will occur we can also um, discuss it by taking the values of the angles if the angle of incidence the incident ray is in the direction of normal then the angle of incidence will be zero because all the angles are made with the normal so if the if it is in the direction of normal this angle will be zero and this angle will be zero for the angle of incidence in a uh, denser medium that is 20 degree the angle of refraction will become 27 for 30 it will become 42 for 40 it will become 59 and by increasing its value more the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree now this angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree this angle is critical angle and actually this angle is the angle of Um, when angle of refraction is 90 degree the incident angle is called angle of refraction that is critical angle and this critical angle's value is actually 48.8 here in this diagram okay so when this angle uh, angle of incidence value increases from 48.8 that is if we take 60 degree or even 50 degree the light will be totally internally reflected back in the same way we have the both indices of air air index or vacuum is 1 and water 1.33 so we can discuss here that critical angle is the angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree and how it determines the total internal reflection again if we increase the incident ray beyond the critical angle the light is no longer reflected it is reflected back in the same medium it is called total internal reflection i hope so now students you will be able now to define uh, total internal reflection as well as its condition and uh, as well as diagrammatically you should be able to explain it and in many mcqs they ask they can give you any part of a diagram and they can ask that which part is the critical angle of uh, which angle is the critical angle and where is the angle of refraction or where is the total internal reflection they can ask 
So when incident angle is greater than the critical angle, there is no refracted rays. All emergent rays are internally reflected. Okay, now this is a very good image. I have taken it for you for studying in the best way. What is total internal reflection in water? How it occurs experimentally? When we take water in a glass uh, block or rectangular block and we pass the laser light or monochromatic light, monochromatic light again, I'm telling a light with a single wavelength from it when at a certain angle total internal reflection occurs and at which angle here the angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle and always remember this total internal reflection will also obey the laws of reflection this is the total internal reflection in a semicircular glass block the same phenomena will occur in this semicircular glass block only its shape changes and here we have taken the denser medium as glass it often these type of diagrams often come in your paper as they are also drawn in your book you have to practice them you have to understand them very well and you have to practice them in the copy by carefully drawing each and every diagram by using scale now as we see when incident ray from glass enters the air maybe some of part of it will be refracted but most part of it is refracted and this is the condition of total internal reflection okay the angle of refraction is 90 parallel to the surface. We have discussed here angle of incidence is C when the angle of refraction is 90 degree. And uh, whenever there is TIR, there is no refracted. Now again, how we can do the calculations using the critical angle. We have discussed the formulation of the formula N is equal to 1 over sine C. And when we apply it to this diagram, where N1 is for uh, glass and N2 is for air, then sine c is equal to sine inverse 1 over n. Now, this diagram I have taken for you to understand total internal reflection in a semicircular glass block. If you do it experimentally, you will place a semicircular glass block on a table and pass the light from it. Then, at some angle, it will be totally internally reflected. And here, it shows the phenomenon of total internal reflection. 